So last summer I built the NV Dodgy Roger 1 out of Coroplast and it did not sink. So this summer I'm going to step up my game for the MV Dodgy Roger 2 and use even more ridiculous building materials. It's going to be made out of extruded polystyrene rigid foam, canvas, and wood glue. The aim is to create a 10-foot electric powerboat that can seat two people. My design is based on classic wooden powerboats such as the Seafly Minimost XL. I am hoping that by making it out of foam it will be light enough that I can tow it with my bicycle. I'm also hoping that by making it out of foam, I'll be able to keep the cost of the hull under $150. At first, it may seem like using foam isn't really gonna save any money because foam is like $13 a sheet. You can find plywood for $13 a sheet, but because this is a marine application, I would actually need to use marine grade plywood and that's a lot more expensive. And of course, this is also a lot heavier. The big risk with this project, of course, is that the boat will sink. It could come delaminated and all the water could rush in, or I might hit something and it'll just burst right on through the foam. One thing I've not decided yet about the design is if I'm going to use an inboard motor or an outboard motor. Each one of them adds different complications to the project, so it's not a simple choice. The first thing that I need to do for this project is design the hull shape. So that's what I'll be doing in my next video.